Sometimes I look at myself and I say, man, I'm a badass. You ever say it to yourself? No, I'm, just, I'm just joking. What, what, what I say to myself every morning is, I am a person of interest. People are counting on me to show up, to grow up, and to over-deliver, right? Like my positive energy is going to be greater than any negative energy I face today, right? Like I made up my mind many years ago, really, really without a lot of thought, that one day I want to grow up and be somebody. I don't know about you, where, where you grew up in your life, but somewhere in my life, I kind of just made a decision, man. When I grow up, I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to be somebody that matters. I'm going to be somebody that impacts other people. I'm going to be somebody that other people talk about. I'm going to be somebody that moves the world. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something big, right? Like I'm not going to do something small. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today, which is how you become and step into what you're supposed to be. How you become a true person of interest in the world. I believe the world that, that, that people of interest move the world. They're making moves. They're doing deals. They're circulating around the planet. They're the people we look to, right? They're the people we respect. And so, and I actually believe within each person with, is that desire to grow up and, and matter and to contribute. Uh, when I wrote this book, Personal of Interest, many years ago, I didn't know how big it would become. I didn't know it would become one of my most popular books. I didn't know that people all over the world would use it. I would tell you today that anybody that I'm coaching that is earning over $500,000 a year in personal income, all the way up to $10 million a year, would all tell you the same thing. They all took this strategy that I'm going to teach you today. And they even used that word. Coach helped me become a person of interest. Right? The real estate agents I coach that are making a lot of money, he helped me become a person of interest. The mortgage people I coach that have become people of interest, he helped me become a person of interest. Because at the end of the day, if you don't become a person of interest, you're selling a commodity. Which is, just means you're selling something I can get anywhere. So, so, so you're going to figure out, I want you to write these three things down. Because we're going to really hone in on this today. There's three things people of interest have. And we're gonna, before we leave today, we're going to be really digging in on this. Okay? They have a message. People of interest have a message. Without a message, you're just selling a product. Okay? And if you study great marketing, if you have a message that does not repel some people, you won't attract the right people. So you gotta, get, you gotta be bold in your message. If your message doesn't repel some people, it won't attract the right people. Some of you have a lukewarm message, or you don't have a message. Okay, and I was using an example of a real estate agent we coached this morning. His message is be committed. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. That's a message. Notice he don't say anything about selling real estate in that message. Right? His message is you be committed, man. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So we got, we got to help you today come up with what is your message you want to say to the world. Okay? Second thing people of interest have is they have a big mission. They have a big mission. And you're going to find out why this is so critical because people are not going to be attracted to you if you're doing small things. Okay? If they're watching you and observing you and it's like, oh, that, all I see that person do is whine and pout and complain and make excuses and they're never doing anything. Like in today's world, Facebook is a billboard. YouTube is a billboard. Right? Everything you put out to the market is telling me something about you. Everything, right? Every word, every post you make is telling me, and I'm making a very quick assessment about you, right? Asset, liability, doing big things, doing small things. Interested, not interested. Like it's literally that fast. So you, this is why your messaging has got to be clear, okay? Because if you just put a message out to the market and people are making an assessment, right? You make a bad first impression, say it takes 21 positive interactions to overcome the first negative interaction you have. You're not going to get 21 chances, folks. Okay, how many of you have seen a post on Facebook you're like, they're out, I'm done with them. Right, because they're taking energy from me. Okay, so the second thing they got, they got a big mission. And what that means is we're doing big things here. We're doing big things. I'm not doing small things, we're doing big things.